Guys and gals, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Today for this episode, I am reviewing a product which so many of you have been requesting more information about. I've been testing this product out for the last couple of months and it is time to pass on my thoughts, my feelings, so you can make an educated decision for yourself. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, 100% agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. I don't care if you purchase any of the products that I review. My channel is all about passing on information to you all. This is the Helicon Tex Numback Chest Rig, and my review begins now. So this is the chest rig here, and there are many, many features to this chest rig, which I will go over, but this is how it looks from the front. As you can see, you have two buckles up at the top. You also have a buckle on each side, which means that it's easy to put on and to take off, and it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. Talking about putting on the rig and taking it off, I find that the easiest way to go about this is to disconnect the buckle on the lower right-hand side. If you're left-handed, do it on the other side. Then, pull your head and arm out. To put it back on, just reverse that. Put your head and arm in, throw the buckle over your shoulder, grab it, and then connect it like so. Nice and easy. Before taking a look at the rig, let's go over some stats and information concerning it. While doing so, I will be showing some footage that I've recorded using this pack because, as mentioned, I have been using this for multiple months and you all have seen me do so in my videos here on the channel. With the Numbat, the weight of this is 17.2 ounces. And with the dimensions, you are looking at 7.68 inches by 11 inches by 2.3 inches deep. This pack is available in lots and lots of colors, nine variations total. It is made from 500D Kodura material. It features YKK zippers. It is fully Molly and Pals compatible, and it opens up, presents you with a shelf, which makes it easy to get the items that you want without dumping all of your contents on the ground. The retail price of this is $65, but at the time of filming, the prices on Amazon were inflated. They were asking $75 plus shipping for this rig. At the time of filming on the Helicon website, these were going for $55.25, which is a much better deal. Make sure to look around for the best price if you decide that you want one of these. We're looking here at the front of the pack, and let's go over some of the features. As you can see, there are plenty of attachment points. You have loops, you have webbing, you have more webbing here, which is PALS and Molly compatible. Right here and here, we have two stretchy elastic pockets. So you can put just about anything that you want to in there. You can shove your gloves in, you don't have to worry about things falling out and whatnot. You have the webbing down at the bottom, and going down even further, you have some additional webbing along with cording, shock cord, so you can attach, again, anything that you want to to this system. The back support is all mesh, very airy, very comfortable. Each of the buckles is fully adjustable, so it will fit for me, it will fit for you. This rig does have 3D mesh on the back, which will assist with ventilation. We'll come back to that in just a moment, though, and go over that in more detail. Up here at the top, you have two-way YKK zippers, and it opens up just like this. This is the admin insert, and this essentially buckles to the very bottom of this pouch. It is removable. You have a Velcro mat pocket, and you have a lot of sleeves and pouches, along with some Velcro on the other side. On the back side here, you have hook and loop. You also have this piece of Velcro which can be used to secure the admin pocket into place, just like that. You can attach all sorts of pouches to this hook and loop here, including holsters for your concealed carry. You do have a draw pull. This is fully adjustable here, so it doesn't have to open as wide as it does now. You can limit that somewhat. On the other side of the lid, you have all sorts of pockets. You have a zippered pocket in the front, Going down, you have sleeves with multiple pockets in front of that. So now that we've taken a look at the pack and gone over the features, let's just jump to the review as my style usually is. Stats, features, pros, cons, summary. That's my formula there. Now with the pros starting with quality, the quality is excellent on this pack. In truth, I am very impressed with this. To be honest, I'm not all that familiar with this company and their products. I have a few of their pouches. This is my first real piece of gear, as I would say and I really am impressed with this, especially for the money. Over the last couple of months, I've really enjoyed wearing this, I really have. The elastic pockets on the front are very useful, and the way that this has been cut, nothing falls out of them. That's a huge plus. On the inside, you have plenty of organization options, all of which are very good in my opinion. 
I am not a huge fan of the admin pouch, and I'll come back to that in just a minute though. But yeah, there's plenty of ways to store your gear, and also there's a lot of room inside of this. The dimensions of this are very comfortable. It's not too small, it's not too big. The two-way YKK zippers work very, very well. The zipper pulls are excellent, and this is a very adaptable pouch. You can essentially use this for just about anything that you want. You could use it for bushcraft, you could use it for backpacking. I use it quite a bit for filming. Oftentimes when you see me wearing this, I have my film gear inside of this. I'll have cameras, batteries, the GoPro. The GoPro is small enough to fit inside of this. But uh, yeah, batteries, uh, small little tripods. When it comes to like outdoor use, bushcraft stuff, it really is versatile. You can mount a knife right on top, right on the straps there. That's very easy to do. On the inside, you can have gloves, you can have a saw, you can have water, fire, whatever you really want to. It really is up to you on how to use this product and it can be used for just about anything. For hiking, bushcraft, kayaking, biking, and so on. It works perfectly, it really does. Another huge pro is that this can easily be used with backpacks. It fits very comfortably. You do not notice that it's there. It really doesn't add any frustrations between you and the backpack and this product. And that's because this is a very comfortable product. It was well designed. The shoulder straps don't rub in weird places. You do not feel the back mesh part even with a backpack on. Yes, it's very comfortable. It's easy to put on, easy to take off. And it's also easy to open it up and use it. As I mentioned before, it opens up just like so. You have this cord on the inside, which prevents this from falling open and dumping your gear. Next up with this pouch, this thing is impressively water resistant. It's not waterproof, do not get me wrong. In a light rain, a drizzle, some mist, you can wear this and all of your contents will stay dry. Now, if it's a falling rain, water will seep in through the zippers. You will have to consider that. Either have some sort of liner on the inside or maybe have this underneath your jacket, your rain jacket, or underneath a poncho. But in the rain, it really does work well, as you all have seen on my channel. For concealed carry users, this is an excellent option for carrying your firearm. Going back to the straps here for this product, there are strap keepers at each of the four buckles, which is excellent. That way you can take care of the straps. You don't have to worry about them flopping all over the place. I do like the fact that there are four buckles with this product. Not all chest rigs have this feature. Usually it's just one, maybe two. This one has four. So you really can put it on, take it off any way that you want to. And you could come up with a method that works for you personally. Next, we have to talk about the looks of this pouch. I really like this. It's not overly tactical. It's not overly law enforcement. It doesn't scream military. It's a good middle of the road design, which means that it's great not only on the trail, but in town as well. Lastly, when it comes to the pros, I do like the fact that you can attach additional pouches and whatnot. You have the shock cord here. You can attach a poncho rolled up at the bottom, nice and easy. All in all, this does give you plenty of ways to carry your gear and it does so in a very comfortable manner. Now, with that being said, let's jump to the cons because I do have some with this product. Luckily, most of them are very minor, starting with the map sleeve, the admin pocket. This is something that I found that I just did not want to use. I had no use for it. Yes, there's plenty of sleeves here, but I found that the space that it takes up was more valuable than the functionality that this personally offers. As a map pocket, this is a little bit small. It's usable, but it's small. I have to say, when it comes to taking this thing out, maybe I was having an off day or something, but that was a serious chore. The little clips that are down at the bottom of this pack that attach to this, I'm not exactly sure what you call those things, but they were a nightmare <laughs> to break loose and to pull this thing out. Again, maybe I was just having an off day, but it was incredibly difficult. If you are going to carry this inside of your pouch, I would still recommend disconnecting this so you can pull it out and actually look at your map instead of having your head down and having to worry about reflections and whatnot. Now, we've talked about the 3D mesh on the back of this rig here, and the question is, will you sweat with this on? Yes, you will. 100% yes, you will. Depending on how hard you're pushing and what exactly you're doing, you will sweat. And there really is no way around this. There are plenty of chest rigs out there, and you're going to sweat with any of them. Next, when it comes to the laser cut molly here on the front, I'm not a huge fan of this. It's strong, there's no doubt about that, but it is flimsy. It's floppy, it's not very stiff. In the end, it's just not my favorite. I'm a fan of the tried, true, and tested Molly and Pals webbing with straps. This is definitely more modern, it looks cool, but in my opinion, it's less effective because it's so flimsy, it's less rigid. The last thing that I have to talk about is that this can be somewhat cumbersome to adjust. 
especially when you're changing out layers. It really is no different than adjusting your backpack or anything else, but it does take time. And that is something that you need to keep in mind before you go out and purchase one of these pouches. For myself, I have this adjusted to fit over two layers. It fits comfortably over two, it also fits comfortably over one, so I don't have to make any adjustments right off. If I was going to take the jacket off, just go with a shirt, I would have to tighten this up just a little bit. If I was going to add a larger, thicker jacket, I would have to make adjustments as well. After going over all this information, do I recommend this product? Yes, I do. I think for the price, this is an awesome chest rig. There are many chest rigs out on the market, some that are cheaper, some that are more expensive. In the end, I think 65 bucks is a sweet spot when it comes to a chest rig, especially when you consider that most chest rigs are made from the exact same materials as this. The quality is excellent. The design is excellent. It's not too small. It's not too big. You can use this, again, for just about anything that you want to. Any sort of outdoor activity, this thing rocks. This is a high quality, high versatility rig, which is impressively priced in my opinion. When it comes to all of the different chest rigs that I've tested out over the years, I have to say that this one is my personal favorite. In the future, I will have a versus episode coming up with this product and other chest rigs that I have, all of which I have purchased myself. So with my review being done, what do you all think about this pouch? Do you like it? What do you think about the colors that are available for the Numbat? I like the gray. I think this looks pretty good. If you have any questions for me, make sure to email me. Support the channel if you want to. Again, the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. I don't do affiliate programs, and that is something to talk about. A lot of YouTubers do affiliate programs. This is a big issue in the industry, especially here on YouTube, where people are showing off products and they get a commission out of every single sale and they do not have to announce this information to you all, which I think is wrong. I get contacted by a lot of companies, some of the biggest companies in the world, and these companies wanna offer me profits from every single sale and I say, no, I am never ever going to do that. This channel is not about selling products, it is about helping you all and that's it. Also, there are many companies out there who will not send out review units to reviewers like myself unless they sign up for a commission program. And essentially that's because these companies want to purchase that person's review. They wanna make sure that that person says the product is great, that they recommend it, so that both of them get money. That is wrong in my opinion. So any support that you could give is appreciated. Until next time everyone, take care, strength and honor. See ya.